Hi beauties, Robbie here, resident fit girl at Hello Beautiful. So I just discovered this really rad product. It's by Gaim. It's a stability ball chair. So you can sit and work in it, or you can pop the ball out and work out with it. So I'm gonna show you some really cool exercises to do with a stability ball. Okay, so this first exercise is the infamous squat. But what I'm gonna do with this, this squat, I'm gonna hold the ball between my hands and squeeze the ball like I'm trying to pop it. That makes your inner arm work. Doing a regular squat, taking the ball straight up and down, opening the core and the chest on the way up. You can also make it harder by holding the ball out while you squat. Engages more of your core muscles. Even harder, take the ball overhead and keep squatting. Okay, so I love this exercise. It's gonna work your inner thighs, a big problem spot for most ladies. So what you're gonna do is you're lie on your back, you're gonna place the ball between your legs. If you're not flexible enough to keep your legs straight, that's fine, just bend your knees. Take your hands by your side, feel your core before you even start. Then you're gonna take your hands in front of you without losing that core engagement. Drop the ball, let the legs open, and then a little teeny push to push it back up. When you catch the ball, you're squeezing your inner thighs. And you're gonna go for as many as you can, working that inner thigh. I sometimes throw the ball and hold it and really squeeze for a while, trying to pop it. It's so good for the inner thighs. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to work the back of your legs, your hamstrings, and your glutes. The ball is so unstable, but it's gonna really make you work those muscles even more. So you're gonna come onto your back, you're gonna place your feet on the ball. Make sure you get a good like grip with the toes. It's kind of hard, but you wanna get that good grip on the whole foot. Your hands are on the ground, tighten your core, and you push up using the back of your legs onto the ball, and then come back down. The key is to go with control, so don't try to bang out like 50 in five minutes. Try to do like five, like really slow, working the back of the legs, the core, and of course, our glutes. Okay, so so many people complain about having back problems. This is a great exercise to strengthen that area of your body. So you're gonna come onto your stomach, onto the ball, hands on the ground, feet are wide. Chuck your chin into your chest. So don't look up, basically. Relax here, you're gonna take one hand off, opposite leg, reach, and release. The goal is to keep the ball underneath you. It's gonna to wanna to wobble side to side, but don't let it. Engage your core, your low back, and strengthen the arms and legs, too. All right, so I showed you earlier how to use your inner thighs. Now I'm gonna show you an outer thigh exercise. Taking the ball to the ground this time, putting my fingertips on the ball. It's very important you don't compress with your whole wrist. Just use your fingertips. Lean over like a seesaw to the side, square off your hips, and you're just gonna lift the leg up and up. Very small movement, the smaller the better. Keep your core engaged so your lower back's not kicking in. And you're just gonna work the outer thigh. Stay on one side for about 30 seconds or 30 pulses, then you can switch sides. I love a good double duty exercise. So this exercise works your legs, your arms, your core, everything. So you take your feet wide on 45 degree angles in a sumo squat position. Taking the ball right in front of you, you're gonna squat down in a deep sumo squat, come straight up, and then bend to one side using the side of your waist. Then you repeat it again, sumo squat, reach up, and then bend to the other side. This works the core when you bend, and the arms when you swing up, and of course the legs when you squat.